There are always beings endowed with special power, chosen by the gods to determine the fate of the world. The Titan Lords were the first, Lords of the Elements. With their help, the gods created our world. But when their work was done, the Titan Lords turned on each other and began a war that ravaged the Earth. The gods grew angry when they saw what had become of the world and banished the Titan Lords to the depths of the earth and the sea, where they were to remain imprisoned until the end of time. An ancient prophecy says on the day they are freed, the age of destruction will begin. Today we know its truth. With all due respect, Lieutenant, you're drunk and a disgrace to the uniform. <sighs> Go bother someone who gives a damn. Commandant Carlos wants to see you. He's waiting at the top of the tower. Well? All right. pirate yet. There's a ship coming in. In this storm. It's not the storm I'm worried about. It's what might be hiding in it. I don't see what you're worrying about. Take a look. We need to save the survivors. I'm not risking another ship. The survivors will have to make it ashore on their own. Go down to the beach and gather up anyone who gets to shore alive. some gold and I can get it for you. What sort of things are you talking about? Weapons, booze, whatever you need really. You pay me, I'll tell you where it's waiting for you. And you go and pick it up yourself. 
Easy, eh? So what are these things? That storehouse I was telling you about at the arbor. The best stuff's locked up in the chests. But the stuff they don't need is just lying around. So you know it's okay to just go in and help yourself, right? I pay you, and still have to steal the stuff myself? Still not seeing the problem here, mate. But I'll teach you a few tricks of the trade. How to sneak in there unnoticed, stuff like that. You want me to steal from my own people? Oh, I've seen you around, I know what you want. You don't belong here. You're not one of these squares. You want adventure, I can tell. Need equipment for going adventuring, am I right? I'm offering you the chance to get it. Sounds about right. But wait until day. They lock the place at night and you can't get in. There's guards during the day, but don't worry about them. I'll teach you everything you need to know, for a bit of gold, naturally. What do you need gold for in here? What do you think, piss for brains? Well, if you're just going to insult me... Hey, wait. Don't go yet. Fucking boring me no one to natter with. They ship me off to Takarigua, and there'll be no one but the savages to talk to. Why are they shipping you to Takarigua? Slave fucking labor, that's why. There's a whole ship full of them down in the harbor. Full of what? Maluckers. That's what they call the slaves. So what are you in for? Nothing. I'm an innocent man. All I was doing was having a nosy round this storehouse at the harbor. Then this big fucker grabs me and says I was trying to rob the place. Me? A thief? You fucking believe that? Not for a second. Ex fucking exactly. I want to know how to sneak. It's all in the knees. Keep them bent and your weight spread. Don't go clod up and about like a fucking herd of protectors. Stay light on your feet and no fucker will hear you. So, what did the Commandant say? I've got to get to the beach. Now let me through. Good luck, mate. They kill most folk, but you'll be fine. Miserable weather. Good that we arrived yesterday. Did you see the Kraken? That's what I meant. That could have been us. Poor sods. But just where do you think you're going? To the ship, of course. Can't let you do that, big boy. Without a damn good reason. I want to see the captain. He's catching up on his beauty sleeve. What's more important than that? I have an urgent message from the Commandant. Commandant who? Commandant Carlos. A message from the Commandant of the Crystal Fortress? Well then, big boy. I hope for your sake that it really is important. Sebastiano will skin you alive if he gets woken up over nothing.
This is not you rescuing me. I was fine. Patty, how are you here? Nice to see you too. I'm here because I have to get a message to the Inquisition, and you're helping. I am? Of course you are. We need to find Carlos, then a ship, a fast one. Out of the question. But there is a weapon against the Kraken. What makes you so sure? Father's searching for it. Steelbeard? You found him? Not yet, but I know where to look. Not so fast. Why would a pirate oppose Mara? After all, she's the greatest enemy the Inquisition faces. Her Kraken sinks our ships, her creatures attack our settlements. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Isn't that how it goes? Well, that's true, but the pirates are at war with each other. Half of them have sided with Mara. Father's leading the opposition. He's been searching for a way to kill the Kraken. And right now he's in Takarigua. Takarigua? That's where the Black Betty is heading from here, taking troops and workers for our colony there. I could get you both aboard her. Think about it, and we'll talk further tomorrow. Stand to. <sighs> I should let her sleep. At ease, lads. It's a fair deal, mate. You'll see. Rules is rules. As long as the ship's in the harbour, then the gate stays closed. High Council's orders, see? What's so special about that ship? Slave ship, innit? Although, you ask me, seems a bit pointless with this palaver about the gate. I mean, where are they going to escape to? No hiding places in what's left of Caldera, anyway. And beyond that, there's them titans. So the law's pointless? Well, here, now, that isn't quite what I said. I said the law is nearly pointless. Still, the law's the law, so the gate stays shut. You ever been out to what's beyond Caldera? You kidding? It's just a horrible wasteland. Only thing left there are the titans. What do you know about them? Just enough to know not to go anywhere near them. You've been to Faranga, right? Why? What do people here say about that? Well, you want to hear the polite answer or the truth? So what's the truth? The truth is... <clears throat> with all due respect, of course... Get on with it. Well, they say the ocular you were wearing was cursed. And when they took it off you, you lost an eye. And? Well, they say the ocular... done something to you. Changed you somehow just like it changed Inquisitor Mendoza. And that now, you have to get legless on a couple of bottles of rum a night to keep what's inside you at bay. Is that what they say? Well, you did ask. The situation hasn't changed. We're safe here for as long as Ursagor and Ismail are still fighting each other up north. But one of them is going to win eventually, and then they'll march here on Caldera. The plan is for us all to be gone before that happens. So the High Council has finally decided on the evacuation issue? Not yet. They want us to explore the new world more before we abandon Caldera. Bloody fools! What about Mara? And what about the ships we keep losing to that monstrosity of hers? There's been a new development there. We believe there may be a magical weapon powerful enough to kill the Kraken. One of my best men is looking into it. What can one man do against that monster? That's for me to worry about. Just take me to Takarigua. That's your best man? Does the High Council know about this? No, and there's no reason they need to. 
Let them take forever coming to a decision. We need to act now. I see. I just hope you know what you're doing. When you finished here, see Sebastiano on the ship. The Black Betty set sail today. There's an Inquisition outpost on Takarigua. You'll be able to pass yourself off as one of the workers there. Then you need to head to the other side of the island and find the pirate's den. And once I'm with the pirates? Earn Steelbeard's trust, and try and find out if there is a weapon we can use against the Kraken. If there is, we need it. So find it and bring it back here. And I do this without anyone knowing I'm with the Inquisition? Absolutely. Any connection to us must be kept secret, particularly if you encounter any of the Takarigua garrison. Sebastiano is the only one who'll know of your mission. Tell no others. If the pirates even suspect you've any link to the Inquisition, they'll kill you. So I can't even trust our own people? They may have a connection to the pirates. There's no way of knowing. Better safe than dead. I understand. If there's any chance this weapon exists, we must find it. You're our only hope now. Don't forget, from this moment on, you're no longer part of the Inquisition. What are you doing? The payroll. That's what I'm doing. If I'm checking it once, I'm checking it twice. Look after the gold pieces and the ingots look after themselves. Got to admit, I won't be sorry stopping doing this. What do you mean? Everyone will still be getting paid, right? Of course they will. What I mean is, I won't be here soon. You're quitting? Not exactly. But you don't have to be a soothsayer to see the way the wind's blowing round here. You just have to look over the battlements. So I volunteered for the next expedition, see? What about my pay, then? Yours? You're not getting a brass sovereign. What? I heard what the Commandant said. You're not with the Inquisition any longer, right? You know the regulations well, do you? That's why they made me Persa. Then I bet you know how a man in my situation could get paid nonetheless. Well, I could always mark it down as special expenditure. Now you're talking. In that case, I could pay you up to 200 gold pieces. Tell me more about the expedition. All I know is there's a ship sailing to the New World next week. Everything else about it is hush-hush like. But whatever it is, it's got to be a better bet than sticking around here. I heard there's an Inquisition mission to the New World. If there was, and that's not an admission, it would be secret by order of the High Council. You didn't hear it from me. But I believe there's a traitor in our ranks. Someone allied with Mara. So be warned, you can't trust anyone these days. A traitor? You're sure? Just look at the number of ships we keep losing. It's like Mara knows exactly where we'll be before we've set sail. It's not hard to believe she has enough power to control the thing. And with someone here to tell her where to send it. What do we know about Mara? Mara is a titan lord, with the power to command the oceans. But it looks as if that's not enough for her. It seems she wants to control everything. She's been setting her pack of monsters on us ever since we got here. Something tells me she doesn't want us settling in the new world. One good thing about it, though. With her attacking us, the water titans seem to have disappeared. But now... Now there is the Kraken. Is it one of the titans? Not as far as we know. It might be another kind of ancient being from the time of the Titan Lords. The thing's immune to cannon fire. I believe we may need a magical weapon to destroy it. And what about Ursagor? Ursagor. I wonder what would have happened if you hadn't freed him on Faranga. Maybe Ismail would have taken us all over by now. Maybe that is what destroyed the old Empire. Nothing to be done about it now. Though I thought the same thing. Indeed. But for now, we need to turn our attention to Mara. What about Ismail? What do we know about him? Not much. Supposedly he and Ursagor laid waste to the old empire. It doesn't matter which Titan Lord wins. If they attack Caldera, that'll be the end of us. Even the magic crystals under the monastery won't help now. I'm trying to teach these mummies boys some discipline. Isn't it obvious? 
You'd be better off teaching them how to fight. Good idea. Volunteering to help, are you? If you want. Just as soon as you're ready. How long are you going to work these men? In a week's time, Commandant Corrientes is embarking on a secret mission. I intend to provide him with first-class soldiers. That means weapons training and fencing practice from dawn till dusk, and at night if needs be. What secret mission? The High Council is sending another expedition to the New World. Commandant Carlos is the only one apart from Corrientes who knows the details. Let's train. Watch closely, men. You show him! Ha! What's keeping you? Attack! Come on! Ha! Attack on him! I'm trying to I let me and come stand to let's train watch closely men come on ah. what's yeah. keeping you <clears throat> attack uh. nice moves yeah, yeah. Come on, you show him. Come on. Attack already. Get him. Ah, you show him. Do it. I'm impressed. Enough. Wasn't too bad a workout, was it? Next time, hero, it'll be different. Stand to. So, slept like a log, I hope. Yeah. If the log didn't sleep at all and got woken up by the screams of a madman, how did you cope all these months? Made a friend. An intoxicating beauty. Name of Rum. Huh. Then you and my father had a friend in common. You'd be great drinking buddies. Tell me about your father. What's to know? It's a short story. Father leaves me on Faranga with nothing but a chart and a single page of his diary. But guess what the page shows the way to? Treasure. Not just any treasure, his treasure. Only one detail missing. Which island it's on. I'm going to find out. You still want to steal your father's treasure? No, I want us to. Better still, you help me find the treasure and I'll help you find your weapon. Deal. You won't be sorry. This is going to be fun. Any other survivors on the beach? I'm sorry. Oh, such a loss. Right, so go do whatever it is you still need to do here, and I'll meet you at the ship. Don't be long. Shoulder arms. What's new? Nothing. Another shit job to do. Ship's about to sail and I've got a prisoner to load. Who's the prisoner? Some pirate. Joined one of our ships then tried to raid our storehouse. Idiot. So he gets a one-way trip to Tecarigua. I'll see you on board later, then. So why are you going to Takarigua? Just fancy a holiday. Stand Come to. on, you can tell me. I'm going to save all of you. Whatever you say, no matter how nuts you are, you can't make it worse. So I just hope you're right.
Go on, get out of it! Did you see another ship was hit last night right by the fortress? I was on the tower, saw the whole thing. Really? Those poor bastards, all dead. No, just one survived. Poor devils. Let's not dwell on that, eh? Maybe the tide carried something good ashore. Times are hard. I don't mean to exploit other men's misfortune, but I could use supplies. Maybe you could take a little trip to the beach, have a look. So... Find anything for me? Barrels and crates. That's all that's left. Good lad. This is good stuff. You got some gold, too? Go to Angus for that. I'm no longer a member of the Inquisition. Funny. You look just like one. Not for much longer. So, you're really leaving? On the next ship going. Well, I've seen enough wrecks today. Be careful. It's time we weren't here. Landing here was madness. Orders or no orders. I keep on thinking, what if they sail without us? You think that they might? All I know is I'd rather be bummed by an angry Kraken than sit around waiting for them Titans. There you are. Let's go to Takarigua. Tell it to the captain. I'm ready. The skies are clear today. That means we'll set sail soon. The ship's ready. How about you? I'm ready. Raise the anchor. Set the sails. Helmsman, set course for Takarigua.
almost look convincing. The Inquisition would disown you again if they saw you in that. Come on, the crew's left. We should leave too. Doubt the Puerto Sacarico garrison will have much of a clue about the pirates. But maybe we can get some clues that'll help us track down their den. We should get ourselves ready for the expedition. I can't wait to get back in my normal clothes. Well, you can't. I threw them overboard. You did what? Didn't you want to make sure no one knew you were part of the Inquisition? I liked them. These ones smell funny. Cor, it don't half make life easier having slaves around. Yeah, nice to give me poor old back a bit of a rest. We'll be heading to the Sword Coast soon. Yeah, but they won't. <laughs> ah, you got rid of your uniform. Good, good. I told my chaps I'd given you a dishonorable discharge due to inappropriate behavior. A not unreasonable explanation, judging by the state of you. Now, no one will link you to the Inquisition. What a splendid day. Aye, aye. Who have we got here? We don't usually get anyone but soldiers and workers around here. People who do something useful. But you? You just look like some kind of work shy layabout. What's your business here in Puerto Sacarico? I'm just here looking for work. Well, if you're not afraid of a bit of hard honest work, you should talk to Pedro. He'll probably be in the square, hanging round those crates of his. Listen up. Here's a word to the wise. This is a decent place. And I aim to keep it that way. Worst comes to the worst, you can always work with the slaves harvesting sugarcane in the fields. Get on my wrong side though, and you'll be seeing the inside of our tower lockup. Only one guest in there at the moment, so plenty of room for another undesirable like you. We understand each other. I think so. Well, look, who do we have here? <laughs> if it isn't the lout. He even looks like a lout. Do you know what he did? Uh, the Commandant didn't say. Something unspeakable to that girlfriend of his, I think. The dirty dog. Come on, let's go. Let's get something to eat. So how exactly are we going to find out where Steelbeard buried his treasure? Easily. The same way as you get most men to talk. Not like that! I just mean enough rum and he'll be singing us the location.
Your report, Lieutenant. I'm afraid the delivery is somewhat smaller this time. What do you mean by smaller? A few of the crates are missing. Missing? How? Pirates must have crept into the storehouse at night. But the storehouse is guarded at night, is it not? Um... What do you mean by, uh... The guards were elsewhere, sir. Chasing the runaway slave, sir. 
Say what? Don't shoot the messenger, sir. Then who should I shoot, Lieutenant? It's all Di Fuego's fault. He ordered me to halve the number of guards. Di Fuego! The High Council should never have allowed a civilian to take command! My thoughts exactly, Commandant. Did I ask your opinion? Dismissed! Blast it and bugger it. I keep the whole colony fed. But what help do I get? I'll tell you. Bugger all. Any work going here? About bloody time someone asked that. Want to earn 200 gold? Know much about cooking? I can fry meat. Meaning you know how to burn it on a stick over a fire? Well, I can use you for a messenger. But I still need someone to help in the kitchen. How about your girlfriend here? She looks like a lass who knows her way round a kitchen. And you look like a fat creep who's going to get a knee in the balls. Give me a minute. I'll sort it out. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-nine... What? You forgot twenty-eight. I've got my own system. So don't go confusing me. Sorry, did I interrupt you? Well, yes, but not from anything important. Just making sure the posh folk of Caldera will still have sugar for their tea. It's crazy, isn't it? The whole world's going to shit, and here we are still worrying about pennies and profit. So, you're here looking for a job? I need to go to the other side of the island. Blimey, you're a brave one, aren't you? All sorts of nastiness running about there. Wild animals, escaped slaves, pirates. Yeah, pirates. A whole bunch of them, out east. So if you're heading out there, you'll need the proper gear. Do you know anything about the pirates? Never even seen one before, mate. Ask Rockfor. He knows about pirates. Is there a map of the island? Ask De Fuego. He might know. He's the governor of Puerto Sacrico. So I need to get some clothes. Carter's your man for that. He's prison guard at the tower. He's always got uh, odds and ends for sale. Where can I get supplies? Try Osorio. He'll sell you some. He'll be in his kitchen in the little building in front of the square. I need to earn some gold. Well, always plenty of work for day laborers here. How do I sign up? Go see Osorio. He's the man to speak to. I have to get going now. Right home. Now, where was I? 29. So I was. 29, 30, 31. Bloody nonsense. Problems? You could say that. It's Di Fuego. The man drives me crazy. He's a civilian with no idea about military matters. And yet the High Council still put him in charge here. You have to take orders from him? As commander of the guard here, I've little choice. But just look what he's done to the guard allocation. I've so few men left, I can't guarantee the colony's safety. And now he even expects me to send men to the pirate's den. He's mad if he thinks those cutthroats will bargain with us. I'm looking for pirates. Wait, I know you. Yes, you're that chap Sebastiano had drummed out. In person. Then you might be just the man I'm looking for. How about you take this message to the pirates? You'll get a hundred gold for delivering it, and another hundred for bringing back the reply. What do you say? I say you've got yourself a messenger. So here's the letter, and the gold. The pirate's den is somewhere on the island, probably to the northeast, and you should get yourself kitted out before you go. Good idea. Pedro can tell you where to find what you need. I've spoken to him already. Then you know the score. Can you teach me to fight with a sword? I could give you a few useful tips on using an epee. How about a practice fight to get you started? Can you show me some sword skills? Gladly. 
I don't have... Sorry, mustache. Let's train. Sounds good to me. Come on! <coughs> Get on with it. I'm impressed. Sounds good. Hit the bastard. Do it. Get on with it. Don't dance, fight. Get on with it. Do it. Hit the bastard. Do it. Don't dance, fight. Come on. Don't dance, fight. Hit the bastard. I'm impressed. Not bad, but I'll win next time. Sorry, mustache. Where are you off to? I need to talk to Di Fuego. All right, go on up. The way I see it, Governor, half my chaps defend your villa, not the colony. Come now, Commandant. The colony is adequately defended. That's not the way it sounds in Lieutenant Rockfall's report. Rockfall? I'm the big cheese here, not him. When the pirates landed on the other side of the island, he made a stink about increasing security. But his highest priority should be the safety of the Governor. Me. The High Council never... Do you presume to invoke the council that appointed me governor? Now, Commandant, out of the goodness of my heart, I've ordered supplies be taken aboard your vessel so you can sail at the earliest opportunity. Would you have me rescind these instructions? I'm waiting for the ship. What a terrible day. Where are you sailing for now? As soon as we have our supplies on board, we're heading back to the Sword Coast. Every few months we sail to Caldera and Tacarigua to recruit new chaps and deliver slaves. I hope our base is still there. You're worried about your base on the Sword Coast? We've secured a small area on the eastern shoreline, but the jungle is full of savages. Any we catch, we bring back as slaves. Our weapons are superior, but they've got that damn heathen magic. It's a tricky situation. You're getting ready to evacuate Caldera, right? Not only that, the old world was almost completely destroyed by the Titan Lords. They used the magic in the old temples to summon their Titans. Some of the temples survive, on the Sword Coast, for example. We're here to watch over the temple and prevent anyone from accessing its power. Otherwise, our Berea will soon be in the same situation as the Northern Continent. And what can I do for you? Rockfall commissioned me to take a letter to the pirates. So, you have it with you then? Yes. Let me see it. Still sealed. Good. Make sure it stays that way until it gets to where it's supposed to. Understand? Absolutely. I need a map of the island. Well, for a hundred gold, it's all yours. But how will I deliver your letter if I don't know where I'm going? Hmm, fair point. I'll give it to you free, then. Can't have you getting lost, can we? I need some equipment. I've got some stuff that I keep spare for visitors. I warn you now, though, I'm not running a charity. It'll cost. 
I heard right about some escaped slaves. Slaves is such a harsh word. I prefer the term involuntary workforce. Those savages should be grateful that we give them proper clothing and a roof over their heads. But oh no, they still want to run off and live in the jungle like animals. And then they think they deserve some kind of revenge on those who looked after them. I'm a lenient man, but you have to be rough with these renegades. It's the only thing they understand. That's why I put a price on their heads. Can't you just send your soldiers after them? If I send Rockfor out with his men, he'll patrol along the edge of the jungle and come back empty-handed. Too scared to go in the jungle, and it's not like I've got time to do the job myself. How much is the bounty? There's three of these savages, so it's a hundred gold a head. Maybe you should raise the bounty. I hope you're not accusing me of anything. For two hundred a head? I bet someone could be persuaded to take the job. Someone like you, you mean? I'll hunt them down for you. You will? Good man. I'll have the gold ready waiting when you get back. However, for 600 gold, I expect all three of their heads. Show me what you've got. Show me... Who are you? I haven't seen your face around here before. I came by boat. Word to the wise. If you're headed east, give the jungle valley a miss. There's a cave up this way will take you to a pass across the hills. Much less risky. What makes the jungle so risky? You did just get off the boat, didn't you? There's jaguars in there for starters. Not to mention a whole bunch of escaped slaves who will happily skewer your backside. I saw one of them once at the edge of the jungle, all in his war paint he was. Could have chased after him if I'd wanted, but I knew his game. He was trying to lure me into a trap, crafty beggar. Tell me more about this pass. Just enter the cave mouth up here and follow the path. Mind you don't go too far once you get to the hills. Cross the bridge when you come to it. The pirate's den is somewhere on the other side of the island. But whatever you do, don't go north. What's to the north? There was a whole load of us having a bit of a scout round that way once, when this bleeding great thing came out of some caves. 
Don't know exactly what it was, but it grabbed one of my mates. The rest of us just legged it like our asses were on fire. I'm telling you, mate, don't go north, whatever you do. Bastard nicked all my stuff. He's already sold my red bandana. Some fucker in the barracks has got my boots in front of his bed. And he kept my black pearl earring for himself. <laughs> Mind you, <laughs> I'm not the only one having bad luck, eh? Your mates in the Inquisition chuck you out. Everything go okay at the storehouse. The Inquisition can fuck right off. <laughs> now you're talking my language. So, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. Join up with the pirates? Pirates, eh? Listen, and I'll give you a tip. There's someone among the pirates who can give you a lockpick. You get it and bring it here, and I'll show you how to use it. Okay. Go to the pirates' den and find a smith called Stone. He owes me. So we'll give the pick to you for free if he knows I sent you. How do I prove that? Bring him something of mine. Either my bandana or that black pearl of mine. How can I get the bandana? Carter sold it to the warden, Riley. Smarmy bastard's wearing it around the place right now. Challenge him to a duel to get it back. That way the guards won't get involved. How do I get the pearl? Do you know how to pick pockets? Uh, no worries. I know all about the art of thieving. How do I get the pearl? Do you know how to pick pockets? Uh, no. Your boots are in the barracks. Relax. Bastards there go to sleep at night, same as everyone else. Just sneak in and grab them. Piece of piss. You know how to sneak, I taught you. There's got to be more stuff in there to nick. Can you make me a better thief? For gold? Sure. Can we finish this later? I've got to get going. Hang about? You uh, wouldn't have a swig of grog on you. Bastards don't give me nothing to drink, to try to force me to work. Here you go. Whoa, you're a lifesaver, mate. So, I guess you want to speak to the prisoner. What's the prisoner doing here? We sent him into the fields with the Moluccas, but Riley reckoned he was too much of a troublemaker. So, he's gonna stew a few days in the tower. I hear you sell clothing. Yeah? Says who? Pedro might have mentioned it. 
Look if you want. You look like you could use something fresher. Show me what you've got. Nothing here for Damn. nothing here to take. I am hungry. The gods, they feed me nothing. Not even bugs. <laughs> they keeping the bugs for themselves? No. I try to escape. Starvation. It is my punishment. Well, it's not bugs, but here, eat this. Asad grateful, Gucho. And gives you warning in return. Do not go east into next valley. It is where my brothers have escaped to. Your inquisition has filled them with rage. They kill you on sight. Don't worry, I'm not with the inquisition. All your guchos look same to us. They will still gut you. They're not savages. I'll talk to them. My brothers not listen. Their blades do their thinking now. They take weapons and armor from graves of our ancestors. This terrible thing. They must spill blood or face ancestors' wrath. Tell me more about the graves of your ancestors. My people, they gone from this island a long time, but they left dead behind, in stone tombs filled with treasure. The ones left here, very powerful ancestors. You mentioned the wrath of your ancestors. If graves disturbed for honorable reasons, then ancestors may be satisfied by spilling of Gucho blood. But if graves defiled for bad reasons, they will rise up from the dead, bringing bloody death to defiler. Oi, you! One warning, and only one warning. No talking to the savages. It puts them off their work. I'll see you at it again, and you'll get twice the beating I'll give them. Listen to the big man with the whip. I'm going to enjoy knocking the shit out of you. Get on with it. Hit the bastard. Get on with it. Hit the bastard. Do it. Don't dance, fight! Chiraka, good fight. You're messing with the wrong man, lad. I like your bandana. Are you taking the piss? Not at all. In fact, I want to borrow it. You are taking the piss. You're messing with the wrong man, lad. Do yourself a favor and fuck off.
Don't try anything else. What's in the hut? Storage for the sugar cane that gets harvested. What's left of it, anyway. A lot of it seems to have gone walkies. Bloody pirates. Steal anything they would. Why would pirates steal sugar cane? You thick. To make rum, of course. There's a bunch of them settled to the east. Probably did it just to get at the sugar cane. Well, they won't be doing any more thieving on my watch. You don't store anything else here? Just a bit of equipment. Torches, tools and the like. Will you sell me some of that equipment? Uh, don't see why not. But let's keep it between us, eh? Hey, you see that piece of ugly there? Capital Warthog, that is. Not pretty, but you need something to eat out in the sticks. It's all there is. But you've got to know the trick to killing them. And what is the trick to killing them? You get them mad. Really mad. Like he came home and found Mrs. Warthog in a bed with a pig mad. So he'll charge. Get those tusks coming at you full speed. That's when you dodge. Get out the fucking way, no waiting. Then you wallop him. Preferably in the arse, with a shotgun. Would you like to go hunting with me? Well, I don't know. I had hog for lunch. But I could watch you get skewered. Okay, I'll help you. We can hunt together. Or, if you want to try yourself, I'll be here to laugh. I mean, help. I'll try by myself first. Very brave. Well, I mean, if you get into trouble, I'll be here. <laughs> Just don't look at the tusks, all right? Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean 
mean I won't kick your ass? beast is dead. You can cook yourself up a lot of rations with that. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I'm going back to my post. What do you know about this forest? Just one thing. You want to live? Stay in the valley. Don't go near the hills unless you fancy being mauled by a jaguar. And if that doesn't do it for you, then there's a cave too. A cave? Oh yes. Fascinating flora and fauna, I'm sure that eat you, but it doesn't matter, because if you go that way, you're cat food before you even see the cave. I can deal with the Jaguar, no problem. No gun? We'll end up as cat food. So where can I get a gun? I've got some old ones. Might blow your hand off, but that'd distract it. Inquisition saved the fancy guns for the protectors. But you'd need a gunsmith to teach you how to use a musket. I've no idea. So where will I find a gunsmith? Not in Puerto Sacarico. They're all in Caldera. But maybe you could find one with the pirates in the east. Can't say how you'd find them, but sure you'd find a way. Let's see your weapons. Will you sell me some of that equipment? Uh, don't see why not, but let's keep... How am I doing? Huh, like you're not cocky enough. We have a mission and a long way to go. About that kitchen thing. 
There's nothing to discuss. I have this plan. Uh-huh. We need provisions. Yes, so? And you're in the kitchen. No, I'm not. I mean, if you were in the kitchen. What? Then you could pocket a few more rations, maybe even a couple of bottles of rum. No one will notice. So, I work against my will? Yes. And you get the money? Um, no. You thought, there's a woman, she must be my slave. No. Lying bastard. Fine, I'll do it. Okay, but remember, I'll get knives in this job. About that job. Sort something out, did you? Patty will help you. She will? Excellent. And that messenger job's yours. So you can start by um, taking Grog to the field guards. Go see Giles, next to the little house at the end of the valley. Now go! Shoo! Heads up, I've brought Grog for you. Who are you? Did that lazy bastard find himself another errand boy? Hey, it's a job, and money's money. Suppose so. Give it here then. While you're at it, give Tompkins a shout. He's out in the forest, warthog hunting. Tell him there's Grog, that'll get his attention. I can do that. Ta, I'd do it, but then who'd be keeping guard here? Jill has rum for you. Ah, make him wait. Did Osorio send you? Aye. Then you can save me the trouble of giving this to him myself. Here, I get rum, he gets hog. It's a good deal. For me. I delivered the grog. And you bought that meat? Here. Tompkins says hello. Well, he can bugger off. So can you. Here's your money. Your girlfriend must be finished by now. Share the gold with her. Got any provisions to sell? I suppose so. Just let me know what you need. I got your damn supplies. You get your share. That's it? Then you can have these. That's it.
What do I know about picking locks? You, where do you think you're going? The pirate camp. It's around here, right? Wait, didn't you say you came from Puerto Sacarico? Are you with the Inquisition or something? It's or something. Used to be, until they threw me out. So you say? How do I know you're not a spy? You think there's anything in there an Inquisition spy doesn't already know? You think us pirates don't have secrets? Like what? Like how many of us there are, for one. Wow. That must be some secret. Why should I believe that? I'm traveling with Patty. Captain Steelbeard's daughter. Steelbeard's got a lot of daughters. If you're not gonna open up, then I'll... You'll what? Keep this crap up and you'll find out. Ha! <laughs> Bloody quaking I am! Come on! Don't dance, fight! Do it! Hit the bastard! Now, are you going to open the gate? All right, don't get your rigging in a twist. On the gate!
Not right now.
知らず Show me what you've got.
footsteps. Perhaps you're lost. Don't try anything else. So. You're looking for something in here. I'm watching you. What's this then? Don't Push try anything down. else. Can you show me some sword skills? Gladly. Sorry, mustache. Can you glad? What about parrying? Don't just block an attack. Try sweeping it aside. Keep your blade low, and then bring it up fast at the last moment. Do it right, and you'll knock the other fellow's blade away. Timing's everything, so make sure you're paying attention. I want to make my blows hurt more. Well, if you're using an epee, then it's all about speed and precision, right? Keep your body tensed. Wait for the right moment. Then hit him with everything you've got when you see an opening. I want to make faster attacks. Then it's important to have a firm grip. The epee is a fast and elegant weapon. It doesn't take much strength to use, but you will need speed and skill. Use your wrists to control the blade's movement. That's the secret to using an epee. Sorry, mustache. Got you back. <laughs> <laughs> 